Happy Halloween friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys five DIY costumes that you can do last minute. I just went to a pumpkin patch and look, they have white pumpkins. Did you know these were a thing? This is like my first time seeing white pumpkins. I'm so excited to carve it. I also got mini ones too. Look how cute these are. Anyway, the first costume is super simple. You just have to wear all black. I have on a black tee. I'm wearing black jeans, which I'll show you guys in a bit. And you just need cat ears. This is so simple. I got these off of Sheen for like a dollar. You can also find them on Amazon. They have prime shipping. I was shopping a week ago, so I got lucky my package came on time. It was supposed to actually come on Saturday, which is the day before Halloween. Oh my gosh, my cat ears broke. Like it broke. Oh my gosh, I did not do this. I'm so sad. But anyway, these are the cat ears I got. I got them for my brother because she never dresses up. So this is so simple. You just have to wear all black. I'm a cat, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys hear that? Also, jingles, that's so cool. My next costume, I'm pretty sure some of you guys already guessed it. I'm going to be boba this year, again, each year. I'm a different flavor. The first year I dressed up as a boba, I was original milk tea. And then last year I was strawberry milk tea. So this year I am going to be taro. So I bought these purple shirts on Amazon, Shein, and Michaels. And I was comparing the colors. So this is the color I'm going to stick with. I think this looks more like a taro because I also have these two colors. I have this dark purple one. I feel like this one's too dark. I got this from Michaels and then I got this off of Shein. And the material for this is not that great. So that's why I didn't stick with it. And also it feels kind of light, but the color is cute though. So I got these three colors, but I think I'm going to stick with this one that I got off of Amazon is this color. I also did a Michaels and a Hobby Lobby run. Everything is last minute and that's what we love. We love DIY last minute Halloween costumes. I got this because I was going to show you guys how to make like a Girl Scout sash, but the stuff that I got from Sheen didn't really work out for me. So I'm probably going to return that. From Hobby Lobby, you can get these craft balls. These are like 250 for a pack of 10. Then I got hot glue gun and glue for the hot glue gun. This is literally all you need for this boba costume. You also need a paper towel and a headband. So first we're going to cut out our hot glue gun. I'm always scared of cutting like these plastic things because they're so sharp and I'm very accident prone. So I'm always scared I'm going to get a cut. So be careful when you open these. Okay, we're almost there. We're like halfway there. Maybe I can cut from this side. So I got the blue ones. There's different color hot glue guns you can get. I just got the blue one. Then I have the glue stick. For this part, you're just going to need to plug in your hot glue gun, stick your glue stick through, and then it will heat up. And then when it heats up, you're able to glue all your bowl bubbles on. These are the two and a half inch ones. I got these from Hobby Lobby. There's 10 of them. So you're just going to guesstimate where you want to glue the bobo balls. I just tried to evenly space them out. I put a lot more in the front of the tee than the back of the tee. So we're waiting for this to heat up. It heated up so fast, like the glue stick went all the way inside. It's heating up, you guys. So we're just going to start gluing all of these con balls on. I have two of the pom-poms left over, so I'll probably add those later, but this is the finished product. Super easy to do. You just have to glue it on your oversized tee and you'll become a boba. So for the boba straw, how I've been doing it for the last year is I get the paper towel roll. Luckily, this is almost out, so I can just unravel it, but last year we just started a new paper towel roll, so I literally unraveled the whole thing and just left it there so my parents could use. So yeah, you're just going to unravel the paper towel roll. And then if you have colored paper, I don't have colored paper right now, but usually I have colored paper. And then you're just going to roll the paper around the paper towel like this. You can tape it from the inside, from the outside. I feel like you wouldn't be able to see this, but yeah, you're just going to tape it. And this on your head is pretty long, like it will fall off because see, it's like really long. So what I usually do is I'll try to cut it like in half or less than a half. We're gonna cut it. 
So we're gonna get it to about like this. And then if you have like those like small like hole punchers, I don't have one, so I'm going to try and poke a hole with my scissors. Be careful because I cut myself and it's still like here to this day. It's so much easier you have the one punch hole puncher. So I cut like a little hole here and then I'm going to rip it out a bit to make a hole. like this it looks so much better when i actually have the hole puncher but this is the best i have because all i have is scissors so we're gonna do that on both sides we're gonna make the hole big enough so you can fit your headband through and that's how i was able to wear the straw on my head i don't know where i learned about it i feel like people have more creative ways but this was the best way that i could come up with so i'm trying to make this hole big enough for my headband and then for it to stay on top i usually get like string and tie it around the headband i don't have string right now so hopefully this headband can hold it. So I put my headband through the hole, so now I'm going to try to get the headband to the other side. I created the two holes to stick my headband through. The holes like pretty bad, <laughs> but this is the best I could do. And then we're just going to stick the straw through the headband. Oh, this one actually sticks. This headband is so sturdy. Last time I got a thinner headband and it kept them flying off in the wind. So there's your boba straw. The third costume that I have for you guys is everyone's favorite costume at EDC. Like from Pose, I see people wear it. It's a popular TV show. My Amazon package came on time. It's a Squid Game jacket. It's similar to the color. It's not really the greenish color, but this was what I could get with like two day shipping from Prime. So we're just going to see how it is. They also sell the whole set, but it wasn't going to come here in time, so this was the best I can do. This is what it looks like. It's not the green that's in Squid Game. My pants didn't come on time. I think it's coming tomorrow, and then you can glue like the number, whatever number you want from Squid Game on here. You can also make Dalgona cookies and hold it with your costume, make it look more realistic. My fourth costume was something I found when I googled aesthetic costumes because each year I'm always a boba so I thought I'd change it up this year. I was originally going to be a Girl Scout like I told you guys before but my Girl Scout costume I didn't like the fit of it. For the fourth costume I found on a list that I googled when I was looking up aesthetic costumes for Halloween. It's Blair from Gossip Girl. My package from Sheen arrived in time so I got really lucky but if you have these lying around I think it would be such a perfect costume. So first I have this long sleeve they wear for like private school so I feel like if I looked in my dad's closet I would find it so there's like this long sleeve that she wears for school. She has like these what are these skirts called it fits around your waist and then it like frills out like it goes around like the private school skirt so i have in this style and i also have it in this style as well so whatever private school skirt you want to wear they're also really cute these are so cute for picture taking and i have this headband that she wears it's her classic look and i also found this bow and sheet you just have to snap it off like you have to press it and it comes off and you just put it around so i'm really excited for this like i honestly love this fit that I got. You just have to add knee high socks and that will complete your look. The last costume that I have for you guys is Soli for Monsters A. I was Soli for my sophomore or junior year of college and it's such an easy DIY costume to make. You just need a blue oversized tee. I got this from Michaels. This was like three for like $9.99 and I got this in the size XL so you can wear shorts underneath and you won't be able to see it. Next you just need some felt. I got this at Michaels for like 79 cents to cut out the circles and you can get a pen if you want to accurately draw the circles and some scissors and then we're going to cut it out. I got my inspiration from this pic when I was in college. So she's wearing this oversized blue tee and then she has these purple tights. I got these purple tights from like Target I think and then if you have like a construction hat you can be creative and add like the M at the top. I thought that was cool. I don't know where you get a construction hat. I feel like you can get it from like dollar store. So we're going to cut out these circles and then we're going to hot glue them onto the shirt. Now we're just going to glue these spots on randomly, wherever you would like to place it. My circles are uneven. I'm sorry, I was trying to do them as fast as I could, but they turned out not that bad.
finished product, you guys. This is solely from Monsters Inc. And you can pair it with like ties or the construction hat if you find one. If you find one, let me know because I would be interested in finding out where you buy construction hats. I feel like you can get them at dollar store though. 